Hi, hey there, how are you? Good? Okay, let's go. So I hope you like the sequence. Um, it's a simple glitch effect, but with a bit of a twist on it. So I thought I was gonna teach you today how to do this more uh, elaborate, stylistic glitch effect. You know, looks a bit more professional in my taste at least. Yeah. But first, I wanna try my new intro. I've been working on this for the past hour. Um, so I need to say something catchy, then intro, then we can continue. So, uh, let's get glitchy. Amazing. So, for this glitch effect, you only really need a couple of things. Um, I'm gonna explain the whole, like, filmmaking setup, maybe, like, about now. Okay, so here's this setup. I have a little tripod over here, a fill light for, for my face, that's more yellowish, so I get the nice skin tones back. I have the newer ND680, I think, which is just lining up the green screen behind me. Yeah, and yes, of course, you need a green screen for this shot because you can't have the background glitching without the subject glitching too, without it looking wonky, you know, so it's better to film it directly on a green screen and then film the background separately, so you have more control over the clips. So I chose a bit of a lower angle like this because, well, my green screen isn't that tall, and I have this yellow light, of course, to bring back the warmer skin tones and the more whitish light over here to make the green screen a bit more green. And I'm gonna show you how to make the green screen even more green in Premiere Pro with Lumetri Color so you don't have this, because this right here, that's a problem. And that is also why I have this light standing like behind me, oh shit. This light lighting up the green screen behind me because if I'm standing in the way of this light, I will cast huge shadows on the green screen, which is not good. Oh yeah, and to mount the green screen, I just use glue clamps. It's like $2 for four, so I have there, 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 and there to stretch it out. And this is just a green cloth, like polyester, I think, silk maybe. I think it's like $8 on Amazon, so it's, it's a cheap trick, you know, you can use it for much. For example, like this new segment, over to you. Why? Thank you, hi, yeah. Let's get back to the tutorial, yeah. So, I hope I explained that fairly well. Um, it's a simple, you know, green screen, lights, camera. You do need to think about how you light the green screen. I'm sure I, I explained that. If I didn't, I'm sorry. And I chose to film this on a green screen simply because I want more control of the clip. I want to be able to make myself glitch with the background being intact and vice versa. So, what is the first step in the king of glitches? Oh, oh damn, that's the title. So, first what you need to do, you need to take the clip of yourself on a green screen. Like this. You need to take yourself on the clip, on the green screen, and you need to put it in front of the background. I chose to film on, like... Yeah, two different walls in my room, you know, nothing special. Quite important too, make sure to film the walls out of focus so that it looks like you're the subject and the background is blurry with, you know, the adequate bokeh. And then depending on the level of greatness you managed to fix the green screen, I did not. You need to color correct the clip. I, I just chose to up all the green setting clip, down the shadows, bam bam, so you get so nice of a green color as possible, as a monotone color, so you can pull a great chroma key off of the background. And once you're done, you just click on ultra key, choose the color green to your clip, so the background will disappear, and you might have to go into clean matte up, or matte generation, maybe. And then you just play around the sliders. What you are looking to achieve is that you, as, as the subject, are completely white, whilst the background is completely black. If you get these gray zones, you get this half green screen, half not green screen, it, it doesn't look good. So yeah, just play around with the sliders until you find an acceptable green screen, chroma key, ultra key, something you can work with. Okay, moving on. Since I had two backgrounds, I wanted my, you know, my, my claps to make the background change and the glitches, you know, you can be creative. I started with the background. You need to copy the clips three times, so... And then you want to put on an effect called RGB and Wave Warp. Wave Warp is this... And RGB is just red, green, blue. So you need to divide the clips into one clip red, one clip green, one clip blue. Hence, three clips, you know. And one important note, set all the clips to screen. Very important. And when you've done that, you go into Wave Warp, you just fiddle around. I, I chose 
um, square, I believe, yeah, square, and just dial around. One of the sliders is length, one is height, uh, the degree, I chose zero degree, so the, the glitch is this way, not this way. Then you can set the speed as well, so the glitch will... You know, I can actually show here. So, one slide is for length sideways, and one is for, like, like the width of, of the glitching parts, I guess I could say. And when that part is done, select all three clips, bum bum bum, nest, you're good to go. And also do the same thing for you as well. I don't really need to go over these parts, it's, it's exactly the same. Red, green, blue, wave warp, fiddle around, make it look interesting, ta-da! Yeah, you're done. No, you need to divide the clips up to when you want the glitch to happen and not. I, I had the idea of the, the claps, uh, saving off the glitches, so you know, clap, clap, and you know, it's, it's supposed to glitch. It's, uh, sue me, okay? It's a good idea. See, I mean, your results may vary. I had this double clap to switch the background, so I had a huge glitch there. And then I just have, you know, little glitches when I when I clap. I might glitch, the background might glitch. You know, it's, it's a confusion, as one might say. Yeah, I mean, there you have it. That is the king of glitches. I mean, it not only looks great, it looks great. No, but it looks way more advanced than it is. It's just green screen. Film your clean plates, that's the background. Film yourself, acting, <claps> looking confused. Yeah, I don't know what your storyline may be. These results may vary. But, I mean, that is the entirety of this effect. So yeah, that's the whole effect. I hope you liked this video. I mean, it, it's a fun and simple effect that is not only entertaining, but also mildly impressive. You know, you can show your friends and they will say, wow, you have way too much free time. And you will say, yes, I do. But at least I can glitch. Think about that. But if you haven't already, please like, subscribe. I don't know, you, you choose. It's... I don't care. Um, anyways, thank you. Bye!